Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This is the end of day report for trading on April the 26th, 2016, Tuesday. This is a chart of the crude oil futures. Uh, late in the session here, the market tried to power up and go into a new uh, intraday high here of 44.82 and a half. Uh, pressing its way forward trying to get up into a $50 handle um, word on the street is that the market will most likely do that as is attempting to lock in a bullish trend here and you see that the volume is starting to pick up um, it looks like Saudi Arabia had its arm twisted and they finally agreed to the terms of the IMF bank so now the banking cartel has their hooks into Saudi Arabia and now we're going to stop manipulating the crude oil market as you know we've been crushing that market uh, in an effort to bankrupt Saudi Arabia now it looks like we have taken our foot off of their necks and now we're allowing the price to go back up and rise now remember high oil prices don't just benefit um, the, the, the Saudis it also benefits the US because we own it alright so you better believe that oil is about to go through the roof so be prepared for that uh, there's been all types of government intervention into the markets we had government intervention last week into the US dollar and the US bond market and it's only but so long that they can hold up the house of cards before everything comes crumbling down what that means overall at the end of the day you can expect for the US stock market to roll over for crude oil and precious metals to go through the roof for the US dollar to utterly collapse and for commodities to go through the roof that's what you're going to end up seeing at the end of the day when it's all said and done but for now we trade what we see strong support for the week now is at thirty one dollars and nineteen cents so this market is well supported uh, even a pullback can be tolerated down to that level and the market could still bounce from there um, we are still overall in a bear market we're trading below the long-term trend line resistance but the market is trying to push its way above that as we speak so we'll keep our eyes open uh, for that crude oil it looks like it could be getting ready to run moving along now taking a look at the US dollar taking a look at the US dollar as you can see we're still in a downtrend channel market is now turned bearish we're trading below the long-term trend line here which is now resistance uh, top side resistance is at 95.79 we have no support markets looking for support right now this market is under distribution it is no longer under accumulation despite the feds attempt last week to prop it up current price is at 94.49 and falling we did hit a low today of 94.14 and a half and you can see momentum is pointing downward volume dropping off a bit but that's where we are right now and we really don't have any more support uh, we're right here at what you would call bottom line support of 96.73 um, and that was back up here that would have been the I'm sorry not support the old resistance failed now we're right here at this support of around I want to call it 93.24 barely but really not uh, this is really not a support this is um, this is showing you an acceleration point this week that's where this market is is at an acceleration point so we're gonna have to watch and see what what manifests itself on this but it's still overall very bearish the only thing is you have to be careful because the feds operating in this market every time it seems to fall they seem to come in and prop it back up again so you gotta keep your eyes open on it alright taking a look now at the e-mini Nasdaq 100 Weekly support is at 4157, which is quite a ways away. So this market is well supported. It is now uh, in a in an overall bullish pattern. We see that the uh, short term um, line crossed above the longer term line here. 
uh, which is which is bullish, and it's above the Kumo cloud. So this market could uh, could get a push here. We did pull back uh, after hours uh, as a result of Apple's earnings and a few other tech names, which I cannot recall right now. Uh, so that's what made this market give up the ghost. Uh, it is um, negative pulse waving right now on an intraday basis, and we did have a 911 alert, crash alert on this market. If you go to the website, just uh, click the link at the uh, bottom description of this video, which is in all the videos, the link to the website. You will see the uh, the spreadsheet for the week up there, showing you about the uh, 911 alert that was issued. So you could uh, keep a lookout on this market. Well, that 911 alert came to fruition today, uh, late in the day, and that's where we are now. We're now trading at 41, 44.11 and a quarter, is where we we finished off at. The market will be opening in about 10 minutes here. So uh, keeping an eye out going forward on the uh, on the Nasdaq. All right, looking here at gold. Gold powered up late in the day as well. It's holding on. We have all but flat line momentum is pointing up though. Uh, this market is also uh, pulse waving. So yep, we have a positive pulse wave still in the goal. We've had the positive pulse wave for several weeks now. Market's hanging out above the Kumo cloud. The 1200 uh, is acting as strong support as I in, I've been indicating to you for the last several weeks. Even when we were below 1200, I told you that 1200 will be the new support and that's what's happening now so post wave projections are still uh, pointing possibly higher on this we have weekly support at 1209 so watch the 1209.20 that should not be violated uh, we expect this market to continue to go higher but we are on the lookout on that one silver is really looking to be the powerhouse here uh, it's locking in its uh, bullishness here as you can see and it's uh, now well above the Kumo cloud and I expect this one to move forward too. Weekly support is at 1519 right now and we closed at 1711 which is pretty bullish still. I expect this market to march up to 18 rather quickly. And one final thought on silver is that not only do I believe we're gonna go up to 18 but it's, it should be a quick run to 20. Uh, hopefully we can get there within the next week and a half as things begin to unravel uh, globally. So that's all we have time for now. So remember, take what you can, give nothing back. And bulls make money, bears make money, but pigs get slaughtered.